The uproar over President Trump's unproven claim about wiretapping has made some of his media detractors actually questioning his mental stability in the case of Lawrence O'Donnell saying he should be removed from office under the 25th Amendment. I had hope uh, and an open mind, and I have lost hope completely, and my mind is closed. This presidency is fake and failed. This guy is now almost to the point, and I have a very strong suggestion as an American, I think that he ought not have control over the nuclear codes. It ought to have Pence, him, and, and uh, the Secretary of Defense, because this guy is starting to lose it. Whether he lied about President Obama because he is simply a buffoon, whether he accused President Obama of committing a crime because he is a madman. Megan McCain. Is it over? Oh, Lord, it's <laughs> Monday look, morning. Your, your eyes are bulging out. <laughs> so, is it over the top of pundits? So, th who can yeah. criticize the president's handling of the wiretapping issue? That is fine. To, to say things like, as Mika Brzezinski put it, fake president, failed president. It's so over the top. It's so dramatic. It's worse than some things I've seen on The Bachelor this season. But I, you have to say, this only gives President Trump power. People, his hardcore supporters, they love that he makes the media uncomfortable. They love that he's like speaking truth to the media elite. And the warning I continue to give liberals and I continue to give people in liberal media is save your ammo for something that's actually worth it. If he actually does something that you really truly believe could be dangerous, could be compromising to our democracy. But until then, if you're absolutely hysterical every night on television, you lose any power whatsoever. Well, one thing I would say is it's so bad it's good, right? Like good television, good uh, ratings, okay. you know? Well, but for those of us who are uninitiated, can you explain the Bachelor reference? Well, it's just, it's so dramatic. It's over the top. I mean, I think when you're saying, you know, this is a fake president, oh my gosh, I think that is, it is not commentary. It's just, you know, you sort of like, uh, you know, opening up your, your I, I think it's but hysterical. It's but, you know, the dishonest media had been giving Trump a break on tweets, saying that there was some rationale for them. He wanted to counteract a story before with a new mm -hmm. tweet, just layer them right. on top. Right. This one was came after his speech, which there was no rationale for taking attention away from that. Well, it came and, after a successful speech and, to Congress, but then came the Jeff and Sessions. He, and he broke a, a taboo, which is to call the former president sick and bad. Yeah. And we usually, you know, have respect that, you know, the President's Club, there is a certain well, amount so of comedy. Well, so then maybe the pundits are trying to match Trump's language because they see that he gets a lot of clicks and attention when he uses inflammatory words. But look, the President's fair game for criticism by media. There's no debate about that. But having interviewed him since the 1980s, a successful businessman, a guy who won the White House when almost no one thought he could do it, is not a guy who's insane. Well, yeah, he's, he's not insane. I think the word that we hear from a lot of media right now is that he is unhinged. What does that even mean? You know, I, I, don't, I think we need to slow down and just take everything step by step, ask direct questions, get the facts, and calm down. Does that kind he of doesn't have impulse control. I think that he feels something, and it's, he doesn't mediate it in any way, and then it's out there. Okay, so speaking of uh, impulse control, Take away the nuclear codes. I mean, to what extent does, does this kind of language undermine the media's credibility, which already is at a low ebb uh, when they are taking on the pre when some, I want to emphasize, some commentators yes, take on the president. Yeah, obviously. Well, what does this do to, to their credibility, to the media's credibility? But that's what I've been trying to say since the rise of Donald Trump is that if all Republicans are insane and Hitler, which sort of has been the narrative for a long time, comparing all Republicans to George Wallace going back to my father on forward, then it doesn't matter. If you are hysterical about every move Donald Trump makes, which many people in the media have been, and all it does is make his supporters think that you're part yeah. of the left crooked media that doesn't understand. Everything gets dialed up to 11.